All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video and back with Record Store Day drop number two, uh, June 18th, 2022. Now I'm recording this to the day after uh, Record Store Day because it seemed odd to do a Record Store Day uh, drop on Paul McCartney's birthday. But uh, here we are. It's still the weekend of Record Store Day uh, when I'm recording this. And this has been uh, sort of an unusual one uh, because there were uh, some things on Record Store Day drop number one from back in April uh, that I was interested in that either didn't arrive or actually got uh, regulated to the second drop uh, for this weekend. And particularly in Canada, there were some titles uh, that were available in the States, but uh, got pushed uh, to the second drop for Canada. So this has been, uh, so this presentation, likely you've seen some of these before. Uh, some of these, um, or one or two, I'm not sure if they were supposed to be part of drop number one and then get pushed to the second one, uh, particularly in Canada. I don't know if it's the big supply chain issue or what's going on in terms of available copies or what, but uh, supporting my local record stores uh, in my town, uh, Sound Fixation and uh, Diamond Dogs, uh, from Sound Fixation, I'm thrilled uh, that I was able to pick up uh, the Ramones box set. Now, the Ramones box set did come out uh, for Record Store Day uh, April uh, in the United States, but as far as I understand, it wasn't available until the second one or got pushed to the second one for today, but I was thrilled that it was arrived and I was able to snag a copy. So this is the Ramones 80s albums, six original LPs with five on vinyl for the first time this century. Also includes new exclusive rare Rarities LP on splatter vinyl and Ramones sticker sheet. Limited edition to 14,000. And this is number 12,781. So yeah, so you might have uh, seen this one uh, likely already, uh, especially on some of the uh, American uh, YouTube channels, but uh, YouTube video channels at least. But uh, let's take a look inside. So I'm going to try as best as I can to leave on the, certainly the hype sticker and maybe the uh, shrink overall but that might be a cute trick because there's a number of records here so all right let's uh, take a look inside and yeah really thrilled to to pick this up wasn't sure if I was going to be able to wasn't sure if again if it was going to become available or whatever but uh, it's just a nice kind of slip case like this so yeah let's maybe just take all these elements out here Okay, is everything out? I think everything's out. So there you go, like that, and like that. And so, Ramon's Pleasant Dreams. And very nice, it has the replica original sleeve and on straightforward black vinyl on Sire Records. And we have uh, Ramon's Subterranean Jungle. Very nice. Nothing too fancy for the for these uh, jackets, and no poly line sleeves, but uh, straightforward there. I'll put that over here, and then we got Ramones. Too tough to die. Nice. Nice replica inner sleeves. Be straightforwarding on the label, and then we've got Ramones Animal Boy. And it's interesting, these all uh, come with a barcode, so I would, I would think that these will also be available separately. It's just a guess. There you go, there's that and that. And we've got Ramones, and this is Halfway to, Insan halfway to Sanity, sorry. Yeesh. Okay, and we've got Ramon's Brain Drain. There you go. The Pet Cemetery and on Sire Records. And then the bonus we have uh, Ramon's Still More Stuff Rarities 81 to 89, which is really cool that they've uh, included something even just extra to all this. So this is what is available on the bonus record, uh, which is very nice. And uh, this one doesn't come with a barcode, so they're probably, I guess, not going to sell this one separately, but they may change their mind. Uh, so this one comes with, and it's interesting that this one comes with a polyline sleeve, and you get this great splatter uh, vinyl going on uh, with this one. Uh, interesting that they did that, and 
Stickers. Everybody loves stickers. <laughs> there you go. All right. I do I do like that cover actually. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's the Ramones box set. Now this I think even was uh, on the first uh, drop. I got moved to the second drop if I'm not mistaken, but was happy to pick up uh, the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. And this is first time on vinyl, includes unreleased tracks. Like uh, this is uh, just amazing. So this is a three LP set. So the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, like very nice. And this is on Run Out Groove, Record Store Day Exclusive, Lost Electra Sessions Deluxe, uh, the original Lost Electra Sessions Deluxe Edition. Okay, without further ado, let's let's crack it open, see what see what it looks like. Now I haven't seen this one shown too many times on the VC, at least in terms of of this record store day drop. And a question, what do you think of having uh, two record store drops or just one, as opposed to maybe having one once a month? And now you're thinking, oh, I can't keep up. But in terms of, um, certainly for smaller centers that are having troubles uh, getting some titles, um, you know, make the, maybe make the drops smaller, but then once a month so that it can get people out uh, visiting their record stores at least monthly rather than, you know, such a big list of items available for like one drop or two drops. I don't know. It's just a thought. Maybe it's just a, maybe it won't work. I don't know. Okay. I'm making a, <laughs> a mess of this. I was thinking of maybe opening it from the top if I can save the, uh, save the shrink. Uh, but sometimes it depends how tightly these are uh, package that sometimes this uh, doesn't work. I've had some success uh, doing that, like opening it from the top and then just slipping it back in, but that doesn't always, doesn't always work. All right, here we go. So again, oh, you know, this band, like amazing. So there's the track listing there. Very nice. Excited to listen to this one. Alvin Bishop, Mike Bloomfield, Paul Butterfield, fantastic. Mix from the original three and four track Analog Masters. Bunch of unreleased stuff. And a trifold too. Not all the records just shoved into, shoved into a single jacket. Very nice. Like that. And let's take a look at the vinyl. And we have uh, nice poly line sleeves, very nice. There's the one. Oops. And the middle one. I'm assuming it's going to be the same look for all. Yeah, it's pretty much the same look for all. That. And disc three. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't sure if this one was going to even be available. Uh, maybe not tops on everybody's list, but uh, yeah. Happy to pick that up. Okay, I'll just put that over there. Okay, now I wasn't sure if I was going to pick this up. Um, I forgot that this one was available, but I did see it and I uh, decided to pick it up. This is the uh, mono uh, sort of EP or mono single of the Kinks Waterloo Sunset. So this is actually a six track. It's like an EP a thing. Uh, yellow colored vinyl limited edition record store day 2022. And there you see the uh, track listings there. But, you know, such a classic song and uh, six tracks there. So I thought, well... And in mono, and it does play at 45 RPM, uh, which is interesting, according to that. Okay. And this isn't gatefold or anything like that. Well, we got to take a look at the vinyl on the classic pie label. And that, and that. Okay, so let's just slip that back in. Classic kinks in mono on the pie label. All right, and uh, I was lucky uh, to be able to come across this one because I know this had been a particularly hot one. Uh, Miles Davis Live, What It Is Montreal. This is July 7th, 1983, and never before released, but excited to see that it's from the forthcoming release, the Bootleg Series Volume 7. So that is very exciting. There you have that. And there you have the tra track listings there. And so let's, let's 
Let's take a look inside because wasn't sure. Sometimes these jazz albums, um, either they, they don't come in uh, where I live or if they come in, they get scooped up uh, pretty quickly. All right. Yeah, so that, that shrink slipped off pretty nicely there. So there you go. Nice. There you go. Excited to hear the seventh, and I absolutely love the bootleg series with uh, Miles Davis. So pretty straightforward uh, labeling there, as you can see. I do love how you can have, you know, pretty nice covers, nice sleeves, and then some of the most dull <laughs> record labels, uh, you know, when they can have a lot to work with there. Yeah, no lined uh, sleeves or anything like that. And then C and D. Okay. All right, so there you have that. And uh, I did pick up this one because I have the first volume of this series. And um, according to the listing, that this one even for Record Store Day Canada was supposed to have come out uh, back in April, but I didn't see it until now. And I saw that uh, Richard McCook uh, did this uh, with the last Record Store Day or this Record Store Day drop number two, talking about sweet. So this is Platinum uh, Rare no, Volume 2. And this is, of course, Record Store Day. But yeah, the, in terms of the small print, it does say April 23, 2022, but I didn't see it. Uh, released at least in my area. So exclusive two disc vinyl collection of dozens of rare versions of sweet outtakes and demos, metallic silver vinyl, limited edition 5,000, or four, excuse me, 4,500 4, units, 4,500 units. Uh, but it should say that somewhere, but I'm not seeing where the uh, numbering is, unless it's inside, but uh, let's take a look inside. So love sweet and it was hip. Happy to pick up uh, volume two of this. You know, lots of fun. Well, let's take a look. Ooh, maybe I should get the shrink off so you can get a better look at it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the shrink's on this one pretty tightly. Oh, okay, so there's that. And it's really a nice, nice glossy jacket. Of course, for sweet, you gotta have that. And you have the track listing there. Some outtakes, rough mixes, instrumental versions. All right. And yeah, pretty uh, standard paper sleeves on this one. And there you have, is that uh, metallic? <laughs> what did they describe this as? Metallic silver vinyl. Kind of, I'd have to agree with Richard on the cook. It looks a little bit more gray <laughs> to me than metallic silver. Okay, that and that. Okay, so there's that. And this one uh, was on my uh, wish list for the first record store day but it didn't come in, but it uh, did come in at least for the second one. Uh, this is a Tangerine Dream live in Reims Cinema Opera, September 23rd, 1975. So this is a record store day, the iconic uh, 1975 lineup, collector's edition, a special deluxe package includes cloudy effect vinyl, printed inner sleeves and one pressing, uh, so they say. And uh, yeah, I'll just take another quick look at that suite, but you think if they're I don't see the number uh, listed anywhere if it was limited to a specific number. No, it's not. I'm not seeing it. So let's move on. So again, yeah, back to a Tangerine Dream. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look and uh, see what we've got here. So I was really happy. This was uh, definitely, there's been a number of Tangerine Dream. Okay, we're back with part two. My laptop just decided to shut off uh, while I was recording this. So we're talking about uh, Record Store Day uh, drop uh, number two and part two of the video. So this, as I mentioned, uh, was a an album that uh, was part of the Record Store Day drop, I believe drop number one, but then uh, didn't arrive in my area, uh, but didn't arrive until now so I did pick this up I'm very happy to I come across Tangerine Dream and this is live in Reims Cinema Opera September 23rd 1975 the iconic 1975 lineup and this is a, a collector's edition deluxe package includes cloudy effect vinyl uh, printed inner sleeves one pressing and instantly composed and performed live 
So there's that, September 23rd, 1975. So this is a two LP set, but in one uh, single <coughs> jacket. So interesting, as I mentioned, uh, you're starting, starting to see that a little bit more, obviously not in this uh, particular uh, vinyl haul from Record Store of Day, but you are starting to see this a little bit more. Not seeing as many gatefolds or trifolds, although you've seen both <laughs> in this one. So again, just both uh, records inside. At least a, you know you get you know you can open it this way and keep the sort of uh, this ob kind of strip here. So they just come out like this and like that. Very nice. And it's not heavy cardboard, but it's there. It's nice, uh, nice inner sleeves. And wow, oh my goodness, that is pretty cool. Check that out. That'll look that'll look nice on the turntable, and will be nice to listen to too. That is something. So that is the one, and the other. Oh my, there you go. That is pretty cool. All right, Tangerine Dream. So always happy to pick up. And uh, I may have mentioned that there's been a number of Tangerine Dream uh, releases between the two Record Store Day drops, but this is uh, the only one uh, that I've been able to uh, get a hold of. And there's one that I did pick up that was, yes, on the first Record Store Day drop, uh, but I didn't pick it up initially. And then uh, at Sound Fixation, uh, they had 20% off everything in the store, uh, everything, and that included anything from sort of Record Store Day drop one. So I did pick up uh, Stevie Nick. I don't have this on vinyl. Uh, Stevie Nicks Belladonna. This is the expanded edition 2LP 180 gram. Uh, features the original remastered album, early and alternate takes and soundtrack cuts. And uh, yeah. So let's uh, take a look inside this one. All right. Okay. So I'll just take that off the top there. And just slip this out here. All right, and this has been on CD before uh, with this album and the sort of the bonus tracks as well. But nice to have a special edition of this. There you go. And the guest stars that she has on here in nice polyline sleeves. That and that. And the last but not least. Oh, and there, oh, okay, there's a little insert in here as well. I wasn't expecting that. Very nice, with lots of pictures and words. Oh, very nice. Full lyrics and everything. And the bonus disc. Three and four. And uh, working with, uh, yeah, the likes of uh, Don Henley on this one, Tom Petty. Yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, so that is going to wrap it up. Sorry for all the technical issues, as always, it seems to, with me at any rate, uh, for Record Store Day. Drop number two, uh, or drop number one that kind of morphed into drop number two. So again, uh, hopefully you had a good one and uh, found what you were looking for, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.